in this algebra nation video we will do the right side of page 123 I want you to practice let's do two at a time okay so again I want you to go ahead and practice these try these two I'm gonna pause the video and try and ask yourself what multiplies the last term and adds to the middle and get those two factors out so go ahead and pause now Okay, what multiplies to 6 and adds to 5? 1 times 6 and 2 times 3? Ooh, both of them could give you a 5. That's why you got to be careful. 6, 6 is a mean number. It's one of those you really got to think about. 1 and 6 could give you 5, but only if it was a positive 1 and a negative, or it's positive 6 and a negative 1. However, that doesn't multiply to a positive 6. That's why this is not the answer. It's got to be 2 and 3. So the signs really do matter in this case. The signs are huge, where it's going to be a plus 2 and a plus 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. Specifically, positive 2 times positive 3 is 6. Plus 2 plus 3 is 5. What multiplies to 42 and adds to 13? So what multiplies to positive 42? 1 and 42, 2 and 21, 3 and 14. Let's see, 6 and 7. We did that on the other page. That's why I wrote that quickly. But again, which of these will give you a 13? And it's going to be 6 and 7. Specifically, positive 6 and positive 7, giving you w plus 6 and w plus 7. Again, w plus 6 and w plus 7. So again, just take some practice. Let's do this one more time. Two more for you to try. Pause the video one more time and try. What multiplies to negative 12 but adds to positive 1? 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, 4 and 3, but we're done. 3 and 4 will give you it. But again, it's a negative 12. So that means 1 is positive and 1 is negative. Since I want a positive 1, that means I want positive 4 and negative 3. Because I want the bigger number to be positive to get a positive 1. And that'll be a plus 4 and a minus 3. What multiplies to 27 and adds to negative 12? We have 1 and 27, 3 and 9. It's going to be 3 and 9, but remember, how am I going to get a negative 12? Well, if I got a positive answer for multiplying, remember, a positive times a positive is positive, and a negative times a negative is positive. So that's why this is C minus 3 and C minus 9. Now that is a lot of practice that's going to be needed. That's why we've got the wall below for you to post some questions for us to have fun with factoring. Also, we have practice problems if you need to look at those. But we're not done. 